This is Cassell from Creation Cassell. In this video, we will look at how to use some of the fun fonts that are available in the store. In your paint shop, just open whatever size canvas you need for your project. Now, you need to activate the text tool and look for the font that you downloaded. Once you download the font, you could install it on your system, but it's not necessary. For example, I'm going to be using the font thing, which is a font viewer that is free to download and install. And with the font viewer, you simply have to navigate wherever your font is stored. It doesn't have to be in a font folder. It could be anywhere on your computer. Once you have the folder highlighted, you will see the fonts that are present in that folder. They will be displayed on the right pane of the, the viewer. As long as the font is visible on the viewer, it will be made available in your paint shop. So you don't have to install it. So let's see. Now that I have my text tool active, I'll go and find my font and here it is. The font is exactly where it was supposed to be. So now you simply have to click on your canvas and type in various letters to create an edge. So if I type just A's, this is what I get. Or I can get B or F or K, or V. As you can see, there's a lot of options. This is R. So you can create a whole row of designs like this that you can place on the edge of your paper or your photos. Unlike brushes, you can actually combine different patterns to create your own overall design. So let's try with the R and S. R and S. You can see how your design is now different than if you were to use the same pattern over again. Or you can alternate. You can R and 2S, R and 2S. See how different the edges can be. You can adjust these, the same settings as with any other font. So you can change the size, you can change the color, you can have an outline if you actually wanted to. When you're happy with whatever design you have, you simply accept it and now you have some fun edges. I mentioned that if the font was visible in a font viewer, it was available. Now, if you want to change font, for example, we go to this one and go back to our text, you will find that this font, the edges, is no longer there. However, you have now the edge too that is available. And it's a different design. Not only can you create a set of designs in a straight line, but you can also follow a path. So let's just delete this layer and I'll create a base, maybe for a mat. I'll make a circle like this. Now activating the text tool, I go to the edge of my shape until the cursor changes and I click. Now it's time to add again a design that I want. So maybe I want to go with this design. This is the letter D. Now 
I mentioned that this font behaves exactly the same way as any other font, which means that I'll select them all. I could change the offset to zero, which will move my characters or my letters upward. I can change the kerning, so by default it might be at zero, in which case I will see a little gap between my different designs. So if I reduce the kerning, I will get my letters or designs closer together. In this case, you can see there's a gap, so I need another character. And right now, if I add one, they overlap. So I can either reduce the kerning even more so it will be squeezing all the characters together, or I can remove one and increase the kerning or increase the space. So if I have my kerning at minus 50, maybe if I go to 49, that's not enough. Maybe I'll go to 47, still not enough. 44, 45, oh, maybe 46, that's still too much. So 45 it is, and now I have my design. I'm happy, I can accept it, and I have a really nice shape with a fun edge. Once I'm happy, I right click, convert this to a raster layer, and now I have either a mat or a design that I can use as a template. If I want to change the color of that mat, I can lock the transparency, choose a color, and flood fill to get it. I can change the color and then I will unlock it again. It's really simple and you can do the same thing and apply this shape to turn it into a mask to mask your photo. It is now time for you to create your own decorated element with this font and PaintShop Pro. Enjoy!